Well, where is everybody? Search me. I thought we were supposed to make a film or something. So did I. I just had a letter from that fellow, Sidney, Sidney, um... Sidney Carton? No, 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 not Sidney Carton. Sidney Box. Oh. Yes, he said, come along and have a swipe at that thing called... What the devil was it called? Holiday camp? No. Chassis? No. Not one of those huggy jobs? Oh, no. I say, that's not cricket. That's it. It's not cricket. Major Bright. Okay, Tom, I'll take it. Have you decoded that? Nearly finished. Well, what sort of show we put up? Well, that's a lot. Oh, I think we've definitely pulled it off this time. Really? Yes. Our combination of figures is just like that. Uh, I hope you're right. Let's check up. Six. Four. Four. Nine. Oh, good. Shall we fire away? Go ahead. Right, now you check and I'll read them out. One, two, two. Got that? Yes. One, two, one, two. Oh, curse it. The last one's wrong. Who's going to let us down? Sheffield Wednesday. Come in. This has just come in, sir. Otto Fisch, German, dangerous Nazi. Formerly reported killed, now known to have gone underground. Speaks fluent English, formerly an actor. How about you? Suits me. Well, you have the first one and I'll keep my eyes peeled. Give us your torch, John. Hey, off, Dick. What's this bloke doing? <laughs> Red caps, bless them all. Here, here, here. What's in the bag, chum? Just a jeep I picked up. Ah, a comic. Well, my mother thinks so. What are you doing out of barracks this time of night? Catching the midnight leave train if you stop asking questions long enough. Got your leave pass? Bloody, what suspicious minds you blokes have. Here. Satisfied? All right, chum, on your way. Awfully decent of you, Corporal. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing here? The station's that way. Look, I'm an officer's batman, see? I'm meeting my two officers in their mess, see? They're going on leave too, see? I'm giving them the luggage, they're giving me a lift, see? Who are your officers? Major Bright and Captain Early. By the heavenly twins. Oh, <laughs> How did you land for that packet of trouble? Yeah, born unlucky, that's me. Always dropping in the fertilizer. Well, so long, chums. So long. So long. Well, 
be gone and I'll care for a fortnight, Ron. <laughs> yes, why sure we need it. Yes, I wonder where that ruddy Batman is. We should miss that train if we're not careful. Cutting it a bit fine, I must say. <laughs> He's probably doing a spot of fraternizing, I'd say. Oh, not at a time like this, surely. Ah, look, here he is at last. Oh, it isn't. It's an entirely different bloke. Major Bright, sir. That's me. I've been told off to replace your Batman, sir. What's the matter with him? Been taken suddenly ill, sir. Oh, what's the trouble? Something wrong with his head, sir. The M.O. doesn't like the look of him at all, sir. <laughs> now do we, if it comes to that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. You better sling these into the track and we'll get moving. Yes. Now for a spot of leave, old man. Yes. I wonder if we should be able to organize ourselves some cricket. Ah, cricket. Yeah. Better than hunting this otter fish, gentlemen. <laughs> Fancy them letting him get away like that. <laughs> I feel sorry for the bloke responsible. Oh, <laughs> he'll get the rocket to end all rocket. <laughs> oh. Are you lucky, so and so's? What's the flapple, boy? Oh, someone says a lotto's knocking around somewhere. Personally, I think it's another one of these things designed to keep people like me out of bed. Well, as long as you and not us, I think. Unless old Earl is Otto. <laughs> Would you like to see my identity card? Oh, couldn't face it at this hour of the night. Well, who's this bloke? He with you? Oh, that's our Batman. Oh, well, travel along. Have a nice time. See you in two weeks, Gerald. Oh, no, you won't. I'm due for my demob mob any day now. Huh? Oh, dear. Oh, you poor devil. Back to the stress and strain of Civil Street, eh? <laughs> oh, well. I'll be seeing you blokes again, I hope. Yes, well, mm. all goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Cheerio. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Well, see you at Cali. Yes. Oh, I do hope you don't mind us barging in like this, sir. This compartment is not reserved, as far as I'm aware. Oh, good. Well, oh, I'm frightfully sorry, sir. Crusty old devil. One of the angry boys. Yes. Still, perhaps he's going home to be bowler hatted. <laughs> ah, we're off. <laughs> we're off, all right. The bloke never knows if he's really on leave until the train moves out. Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> you two gentlemen are in the intelligence corps, I presume. <laughs> yes, rather, sir. What are you doing about fish? Hey, Barnes, sir? There's nothing to do with us, sir. Nothing to do with you? No, no, the catering call looks after that, sir. Plenty of it in the mess, I must say. <laughs> Too much, if you ask me, sir. <laughs> Don't you agree with it? <laughs> yes, sir, I certainly do. I said fish. F-I-S-C-H. Otto fish. What are you doing about him? Oh, oh, that bloke. Oh, the old intelligence call look after him. Don't you worry about that. Uh, the intelligence call always get the wrong one, sir. Yes. That's what I'm afraid of. Yes, <laughs> rather. Sometimes, sir. Oh. Something to be said for flying, old man. Thank you. 
Oh, thanks, Smith. Have a good leave. Thank you, sir. The same to you, sir. Nice chap. Yes. Strange, a long time starting, isn't it? Yes, I wonder what's up. I've been looking all over the train for you two. Anything wrong, sir? Anything we can do, sir? Do you know who that was carrying your luggage? Our batman, of course, sir. A very nice chap, sir. And how long has he been your batman? Since last evening, sir. Our other batman went sick, sir. That wasn't a batman, you idiot. That was fish. <laughs> you know, for a moment, I thought you said fish. <laughs> yes, so did I. I did say fish. Fish? fish? We just go and get him. He's got away. Oh, my goodness. What's going to happen now? I give you two guesses. <laughs> Oh, orderly. Yes, sir. Could you tell me the way to the clothing store? Yes, sir. In there. Oh, thank you. Could you tell us the way to the exit? Yes, mate. Out there. Mate? Yes. Mate. Well, I think this calls for two large whiskies, don't you? Yeah. Two large, right, mate. Did you hear that? He said mate, too. I thought he did. In a saloon bar. Ten bob, that's right. Well, this is a pretty kettle of fish, I must say. Could you make it a kettle of something else? Can I speak to Felix, please? Felix speaking. Are you near the underground? Yes, and the end of the tunnel is in sight. Have you any 16 ounce boxing gloves? We have some excellent gloves at 12 ounces. Good, good. I must see you at once. Be here between 1 and 2. Right. Good night. Well, what are we going to do now? Dash if I know. Must do something. The old gratuity won't last forever, you know. Got any ideas? Not a sausage. After seven years in the army, I can't think. Might go into business on our own. What sort of business? What about using our army experience? Ooh, that's a jolly good idea. What experience? Intelligence. Private detective. Oh, no. <laughs> that's stooping a bit low, isn't it? It's giving evidence in divorce cases, although that's very sordid. But we needn't handle divorce cases. That's right. Hmm? Let's have lunch and talk it over. <laughs> Jolly good idea. Barman, what's for lunch? Nearly everything's off now, except fish. Glad to change it. I know how difficult it is buying presents for a small boy. Thank you, and good day. Good day, madam. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a pair of boxing gloves. Any particular weight, sir? 16 ounces. We have some excellent gloves at 12 ounces. We only use 16 ounces in my country. Oh, don't be so old-fashioned. <laughs> <clears throat> we haven't any in stock at the moment, sir, but I could get you some. Good. First, go to the Acropolis Theatre. They'll fix you up with a job. Good. Have you traced the Rothstein diamond? Shh. Yes. You have? Good. 
That will help the party funds. How soon can we get hold of it? Don't be too hasty, Otto. It may not be as easy as you think. Why not? The English police. Mm. Don't underestimate them. I will have the Rothstein diamond by soon back. And your English police, I don't give <laughs> Broken. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand I am to be theater electrician. Mm, that's right. And you think it better that I am disguised. Yes. Now, that's, that settles it. Yeah. Now, now, you come along to the theater tomorrow morning at, say, 10 o'clock, and we'll have a run-through on the switchboard. Yeah. It's perfectly easy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that is good. Leave it to Otto. Mm want to know if this is the Albert Hall. Ridiculous. Oh, I don't know. All we need is the orchestra. Never mind, it impresses the clients. How long have we been here? I don't know. What's the date? No idea. Look at the paper. Oh, that's no good. It's yesterday's. Yes, it would be. Hmm. When did Yorkshire beat Lancashire? 14th, of course. Well, that's a week ago today. That makes today the, uh, the 21st. That's right. Yes. We've been here three months. Can't say they've been exactly banging on the doors. Uh, everybody's too darn respectable nowadays. Or too careful. Oh, well. Let's get on with the filing. Bill? Naturally. Oh, say. The bill file's full up. We'll shove it in the receipt file. There's plenty of room there. Mm, see what you mean. By Jove. What? Got an idea. Oh, steady on it, man. I think we ought to have a secretary to attend to things like this. That's an idea. Yes. Now, why didn't we think of that before? Yes, of course. Now, we must advertise. Got a bit of paper? Uh, yes. Uh. Good. Bright and early, the well-known private detective agency acquire confidential shorthand typist. Apply Thursday, 11 a.m., 83 North Street, London, West. How am I doing, boys? Jolly good show. Yes, uh, what, uh, what else can you do? You'd be surprised, handsome. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, I suppose you realize that this job requires a certain amount of experience. That's my middle name, brother. <laughs> I, I feel that... Oh, so do I, so do I. <laughs> Well, when do we start? Well, my partner and I feel that perhaps this post... Oh, exactly. I don't think I could put it better myself, really. You don't like me? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, ab ab absolutely. Don't, don't get me wrong. It'd take a tougher dame than me to do that. <laughs> so long, boys. Well, she's got the long address. Is that the lot? No. Bright and early. I'm, I'm, I'm bright and he's early. Uh, do sit down, Miss... Uh... Brown. <laughs> now, uh, Miss Brown, I'm sure we can take your work for granted. Well, when I passed out at Pittman's, they said I was capable of anything. Really? Now, when I passed out at the Savoy... Mm, yes, quite. Now, Miss Brown, you must realise that in an organisation of this kind, with clients queuing at the door and the phone ringing every other minute, we must have time for relaxation. Yes. All right, then. Now, can you make tea? Yes. And darn socks. <laughs> and sew on buttons? Yes. Well, I think that's about all, isn't it? I can't think of anything else. <laughs> when can you start, Miss Brown? Well, now, if you like. Splendid! And will you make us a cup of tea? I'd love to. But there's just one thing before I start. How much do I get? Our two weekly tea rations. No, I meant how much money do I get? Oh, yes, of course. How much money do you get? How much money do you get? Shall we talk about it later? <laughs> yeah. Much later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Gerald, I think you're going to find London a bit strange. Remember when I was demobbed in 19, I hardly recognised any of the old places. 
couldn't stop myself saluting brigadiers. Used to feel an awful fool. I expect I'll be the same, Dad. By the way, Harry and Bill can't play in the match on Saturday. If you run into a couple of fellas, ask them down for the weekend. Mm, all right, Dad. I'm sure to bump into somebody. Just remembered. Cricket balls. See if you can get one. A couple if you can. Clean out of them in Reading. All right, I'll have a shot. I'm sorry, sir. We haven't a cricket ball left in stock. Oh, pity. If you care to look in in the morning, we're expecting some new ones in there. All right, I'll do that. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Oh! Hello. Lost your shoe? Well, I wasn't playing hopscotch. Let me give you a hand. Thank you. Well, what do we do now? I don't know, but do something. Look, my car's across the road. I'll drive you home. There's no need to do that. I have a spare pair in the office where I work. Let me carry you across the road, then. Well, I don't see what else we can do unless we want to be summoned for obstruction. Look, here's a shoe shop. Let me buy you a pair of shoes. It's only fair. That's awfully nice of you, but it wasn't your fault, really. No, no, I insist. Of course it was my fault. Well. Oh, no, she's just lost a shoe. Oh, I see. Madam requires a pair of shoes. That's the idea. You'll just sit there, please. I think she meant that I should sit down. Oh, I see. I'm terribly sorry. What style of shoe would you like, madam? Well, something rather like this. What size? Three. Ridiculous. I beg your pardon, sir? I mean, it seems so small. Madam knows her own foot, I presume. By the way, what's your name? Primrose. Primrose Brown. What a nice name. You know, your father had imagination. No, yeah, my father was fond of gardening. Oh, was he? Still, it's a very nice name. Well, thank you for the shoes. You're sure they're quite comfortable? Oh, yes, quite comfortable, thanks. You're sure they won't shrink or anything like that? No. Well, let me know if they do, and we'll go back and change them. All right. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Bright and early? Is this where you work? Yes, why? I used to know them in the army. It must be the same couple. Well, there's no one quite like them, if that's what you mean. I must come and look them up sometime. Of course, I wouldn't like to interrupt them now. They're probably frightfully busy. Good gracious, do you know, I believe there's a man in the outer office. Do you think we ought to go and have a look? Oh, might be an idea. Oh, it's only old Gerald. Gerald! Well, it is the heavenly twins. Gerald, what the dickens are you doing here? I've just been buying Miss Brown a new pair of shoes. That's jolly decent of you. Yeah, snappy line in shoes, I must say. Uh, by the way, you might introduce us. Of course, you two don't know each other. You called her Miss Brown, old man? Yes, they did. And what are you doing buying Miss Brown shoes, anyway? I lost one in the street, so he picked me up. What? Oh, she means I carried her across the road. Mm, nice bit of staff work. Well, how about introducing us? Primrose Brown. Gerald Lawson. A bad type. Oh, a wolf, Miss Brown. Oh, look, I'm not keeping you from business, am I? Oh, no, 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 no. We have a, a broken appointment. <laughs> yes, old uh, Miss uh, Thingamay. She's uh, always breaking it. Gerald, come in the sanctum. Miss Brown, back to your work. Well, tell us what you've been doing with yourself. Cigarette? Thanks. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Oh. <laughs> These are clients of ours, you know, smoking their heads off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, that's very naughty, Miss Brown. She, she's supposed to attend to this sort of thing. Yes, uh, you better take her off. She's been getting very slack recently. Mm, yes, good idea. Yes, well, uh, oh, go on. Ring for her, go on. Oh, yes, <laughs> ring for her, that's right. Yes. Where's the bell? Hmm? Bell, 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 bell. Ah, bell. Brown? Yes? I ranked you twice. I know, you fight me to death. This cigarette box. Well? It's empty. It always is. No, I know that. I mean, why haven't you filled it? Yes, now, run along and get some cigarettes or thing. I mean, Miss Brown. With what? She says, uh, what with? She didn't. She said, with what? With a petty cash, of course. 
What petty cash? You know perfectly well. Now back to your work. Be good, sir. Why don't you have one of mine? <laughs> it's no good bluffing, old man. He knows. Thank mm. you. Sure. Pretty smart of him, I must say. Business bad? Oh, ruddy off. Too much law and order about nowadays. That's the trouble. Oh, I don't know. Look at this morning's paper. Hmm? Well, there's a chance for you, boys. No, no. Our luck's right out. Oh, yes. We're flat on our backs. Business has been so bad, the telephone hasn't rung for three weeks. It's ringing. So it is. Hello? Hello? Help yourself, dear. Hello? Hmm? Hello? Oh, hang on a moment. It's for you. What? Hello? Hello? Hello, yes. This is Brighton. Brighton. What a... Early. Oh, early. Brighton early. Mr. Bright? What is it early? Oh, Mr. Bright, is it? I'm speaking for Virginia Briscoe, the actress, you know. It's Virginia Briscoe, secretary. Not Virginia Briscoe, the actress. Yes. Oh, you're in Clover if you work for her. Hello. Yes. My name is Simon Herbage. Oh, get on with it, Simon, and tell them to come over. All right, all right, do be quiet. Uh, no, not you, Mr. Bright. Uh, Miss Briscoe wishes you to undertake some work for her. You see, she's lost her dearest companion. Would you mind coming over to Miss Briscoe's apartments at the Porchester Hotel? Well, of course. We'll come right away as fast as we can, Mr. <laughs> uh, Mr. Garbage. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, excuse me. Come on! I'm coming as fast as I can. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. All right, boy. Hurry up. I am hurrying. Oh, Miss Brown, we're off to work at last. Yes, engaged by Virginia Briscoe. The actress? Yes, yes, the actress. Yes, the actress. I see you too. I suppose you're closing up here for the day. Yes, I suppose so. Why? Oh, never mind. See you tomorrow. Yes, that's right. Rather. Yes, lunch on us. That's a date. Miss Brown? Yes, Gerald? Will you have lunch with me? But I'm working. These things go rusty if they're not used. You heard what the boss said. The office is closed. Well, in that case, I'd love to. If we go Dutch. Dutch? How do you mean? If we both pay for ourselves. I always do that with my boyfriends. And bright and early. You know, I think I could just about manage it. No, I couldn't possibly allow you to pay for my lunch. You've already bought me a pair of shoes. I still think I could just about manage it. Of course, it means going for a week without sweets. I hate to think of you doing that. <laughs> You'll come then? Yes, please. And um, if you're not doing anything this afternoon, I've got a couple of tickets for the Acropolis. It's a charity matinee or something. My mother's mixed up in it. Will you come? I'd love to. Isn't that the show Virginia Briscoe's in? Oh, is it? I didn't know. Come along, we shan't get a table. I wonder who this missing person is. You're probably Miss Briscoe's boyfriend. Oh, no. No, a near relation. A sister. Probably kidnapped and held to ransom by some black market gang. Well, maybe you're right. This might be quite exciting. <laughs> yes, sir. Tidy rent for a place like this. Yes, do you think we ought to put our fee up? Yes. Up from what? Mr. Hervich? Bright and early at your service. Oh, yes. Oh, do come in. You must be quite exhausted dashing about like this. Now, do sit down somewhere and I'll call Virginia. Virginia? Yes? What is it? The detective agency. It's come. What, all of it? Uh, both of it. Will you receive them, darling? Yes, my sweet. I'm coming. Oh, I'm so glad you could come. We tried every agency in town, but literally every agency, and none of them would handle it. Didn't we, Simon? But yes, darling. And so in utter desperation, we turned to you. Do sit down, gentlemen. It's quite, quite shattering. My dear Angela, gone. Gone. Oh, I'm sure something awful must have happened to her. Oh, when did you last see her? During the dress rehearsal at the theatre last night. And then she disappeared. But completely disappeared. Awful specimen George was hanging round the stage door last night. She's gone off with him, the little... Simon! It would make it simpler, dear lady, if you could tell us more about her. Yes, all this George fellow. George? That low hound. Tell me, madam, what was she wearing when you last saw her? Oh, yes, that's, that's most important. Wearing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Except her little collar. Well, what else do you expect a dog to wear? A, a dog? dog? Yes, my dog. 
Now, are you going to help me to find her or not? Oh, well, yes, of course we are. We might find George, too. If you find George, you can lose him. Well, I think we'd better start the theatre. Yes, and we'll go now, because I'm due there for a charity matinee. Capital, we wait here while you go and change. Fine. Simon! Simon! A dog. A lady dog. Good afternoon, Stephen. Afternoon, Now, you'd better begin your search under the stage down those stairs. And as soon as you find her, bring her straight to my dressing room. Right. Come on, Ellie. Valentine, my man! Virginia, my man. <laughs> I thought you were magnificent at the rehearsal last night, Val. You were my inspiration. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, where should we start? Well, let's have a look at the property room first. Yes. Oh, it takes me back. I remember one night at the windmill. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, this is going to take years. Well, never mind. We get paid for it. All right, then. that lot up. Yes, thank goodness. Oh, we haven't looked in here yet. What is that? Where are you, old man? Here I am. What is it? I wonder how they do that. What's that? There's something in here. Hmm? Looking for this? Darling, go down to the stage and see if you can see her hiding behind any of the scenery. Turn the place upside down, but please find her. Five minutes, please. Five minutes? My goodness, I must change into my costume. Now, you can watch my performance from the side of the stage, but don't make the teeniest sound. Oh, no, 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 Okay, Smith, set your lights. What do you think you're playing at? Who are you, anyway? We are friends of Miss Briscoe. I might have known it. Well, kindly stand over there and don't interfere. You seem a little nervous, Val. Well, it's an awfully important occasion for me, you know. Oh, you'll be all right when you get on. I hope so. Get on now, Miss Briscoe. Mr. Christmas, places, please. Good luck. Same for you, darling. Ah, there you are. Now, remember, turn the place upside down, but find my darling. Oh, please. No, I wouldn't be surprised if he's got something to do with this. Yes. yes. Foxy type.
the future so golden and bright Maybe my dream has come true Now that winter has passed I've discovered at last That most beautiful thing Called the magic of spring Quiet, you two. Sweet moment of spring It's a mongrel. Must be George. And Angela. Let me get Angela before anything happens. Must get her away from George. What is it? Look, in the fireplace. Oh, <laughs> 
whistle. Lean down the curtain. The curtain. What's the matter? Whistle. Is this what you're looking for? Yes. Oh, happy hunt. I want to speak to Felix, please. This is Felix speaking. Are you near the underground? What again? Yes. I must see you at once. It is I, Otto. Yes, I know. What's the trouble? I want your help. Oh, well. I'll open until six. I will be with you in 20 minutes. Oh. 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 Arthur, you can go to tea. Right, Mr. Felix. Be back in 15 minutes. Yes, Mr. Felix. Well, go on. It is I, Otto. Yes, yes, I know. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, Otto? I want you to hide something for me for a couple of days. Well, that depends on what it is. It's quite small. The Rothstein diamond. Are you mad? What's the matter with you, Otto? I am upset. This afternoon, two stupid intelligence officers I met in Germany, they come to the theater. Perhaps it is a coincidence, but I don't think they can possibly be so foolish as they look. So I take no chances. I see. Well, give me the diamond. Mm. Where are you going to put it? In here. In there? Hmm. Very ingenuous. Where are you going with it? To put it in the window. Are you crazy? The best way to hide a thing, my dear Otto, is to put it in the most conspicuous place. What about your assistant? Don't worry, he won't sell it. I never leave him alone in the shop. He's a trifle... Uh... <laughs> now, don't forget. I will be back in two days' time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were in complete control from the start. <laughs> oh, yes, but as soon as the seal came on, then we thought it was time to leave. <laughs> By the way, I don't suppose you two got paid for creating all that havoc. <laughs> of course we did. It wasn't our fault. It was George. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia was very sporting about it. As soon as she calmed down, she paid up the reward without a murmur. Reward? Oh, I see. That's why you were so late this morning. I hope you didn't celebrate with all of it. No, no, the damage to the fans was quite slight. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than I can say for my head. <laughs> <laughs> What are you two doing this weekend? Nothing much, why? Well, my father's having a cricket weekend and two of the players have let him down. How would you like to take their places? We haven't got an appointment tomorrow. Nothing we can't put off until Monday. Good. Then after lunch, I'll drive you round to get your bags. I've just got to call into the sports shop and off we go. Oh, that'll be fine. Oh, by the way, if any work turns up, it might be handy to have your secretary with you. <laughs> that's an idea. What do you say, Miss Brown? I'd love to come. Well, that's settled. Uh, waiter. Yes, sir. There we are, sir. I think you'll find those are excellent woods. They're the best we've had in the shop for some time. Put those back on the shelf, Arthur. Thank you, and a good day to you, sir. A good day to you, sir. Nice, quiet game, Bowles. <laughs> what was that? A bowl, sir. I told you to put them up, not drop them down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Charm me a minute, everybody. I'd ask you to pop in there to pick up a couple of cricket balls. Cigarette, Miss Brown. No, thank you. No? No. No, thank you. Yes, sir? Oh, um, I was in here yesterday. You said you were expecting some cricket balls in today. Oh, I'm afraid they hadn't arrived yet, sir. Of course, you've got one in the window. Funny. I hadn't noticed. Oh, you're quite right, sir. Here is a cricket ball. Just one. Hmm. Well, I'll take that one with me. Could you post me another one on? Uh, certainly, sir. What's the name and address? Uh, Gerald Lawson, Leatherham Park, near Reading, Berkshire. 
And uh, would you charge me? With pleasure, sir. Well, what was that? Another bowl, sir. Unfortunately, I am Otto. It is good. Oh! oh Arthur, did you sell that cricket ball? That's right, Mr. Felix. Last one we had in the shop. Lucky we had it. You idiot. Do you realize there was a diamond inside it? A diamond? A silly place to put a diamond. Who asked your opinion? He gave you an address, didn't he? Yes. Come to think of it, I believe he did. I, I wrote it down somewhere. Where is it? Oh, a shilling each way, Dudley Davenport. Hmm? No, no, that's not it. Uh, where are we? Uh, there we are, Leatherham Park, near Reading. Uh, we must give chase at once. But how? My car's being repaired. It is easy. Leave it to Otto. We must steal one. Steal one? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm afraid I've left it over two hours. I'm awfully sorry, but you know what these dressmakers are. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. I shall never get there at this rate. Uh, patience, my friend. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Jedlow. Good evening, Good evening, madam. Good evening. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. A pleasant run down, I hope. Lovely, Howard. Couldn't have been better. Sir Leslie and her ladyship are in the drawing room with their guests. Oh, I'll take that bag, sir. Thank you. Nice little place you've got here. <laughs> Gerald, my dear. Hello, Mother, darling. Mm, don't you look pretty? Oh, nonsense. <laughs> I'd like to meet my friends. Major Bright. I do, do. do. Captain Early. I, I do, do. do. Cricketing friends of Gerald's, couple of intelligence wallers. What them? Do you know them? Know them? I got them bowler hatted. They are the most incompetent couple of intelligence officers I've ever met. Well, let's hope they're good cricketers anyway. Come over to the window and have a look at the view. Do come and have a drink before you go up to change and meet some Thank people. Thank you. This is Brigadier Falcon, my husband, Major Bright and Captain Early. I know. I've met the Major and the Captain before. Oh, no, 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 I, I don't think so. Oh, yes. A few months ago at Calais, hmm? Uh, yes. Would you like to try one of those? It's some sort of foreign fish. What are you doing, Otto? Ach, you must be British class. What is it, you idiot? Come and see! Beautiful! Look, moustaches, wigs and beards. Just what I want for disguise. I buy. Can't leave it here blocking up the traffic. There's a park round the corner. <laughs> what 
on earth is the good of all this rubbish? But with these, my dear Felix, I can get in anywhere. Madame Tussauds, Buckingham Palace, the Kremlin. There's only one place we want to get into, and that's Leatherham Park. For heaven's sake, get a move on, Otto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's happened? Who am I? Otto, this is no time to be funny. We've got to find a car. Aye, aye! Bring back our car! Aye, bring back our car! Aye, stop it! Stop it! I got my car! How does it feel to be out of uniform? <laughs> I haven't really got used to it yet. I still feel like a fish out of water. Oh, by the way, did they ever catch old Otto? Good night, Mother. Good night, Dad. Good night, my boy. Good night, Miss Brown. Good night. I suppose we ought to say good night. Just one more record. Good night, you two. Don't keep him up too late. You've got a lot of bowling to do tomorrow. I won't. You know what I'm thinking, Primrose? Yes. Where are we going? I thought we might sit this one out. Oh, but you said... Oh. Did you arrange all this? Mm -hmm. Naturally. It's black market, ten bob an hour. No nightingales? Are they extra? Spiv I deal with is out of nightingales at the moment. He's expecting some in at the end of the week. It really is beautiful out here. Can't you smell the roses? No. My favourite primrose smells rather sweet. Chanel? Mmm. But I must say it clashes with your British Army of Occupation hair tonic. We were made to clash. Head on? Mm. Like this. Must be somewhere close by now. Here's someone coming. We'll ask him. Uh, leave it to me, Felix. We cannot afford to take chances. I say, old boy, are we anywhere near Leatherham Hall? Ah, that be Sir Leslie Lawson's house. A fine gentleman he be. What we want to know is, how do we get to Leatherham Hall? Ah, let me see now. Do we know Cooper's Hill? Where Parson's wife fell off a bike ten years ago, come Micklemash? <laughs> I don't, actually. Well, he don't need to go as far as that anyway. Will you kindly direct us to Leatherham Hall at once? That sort of talk don't get me nowhere, young man. Look here, old boy, we shall miss all the jolly old hunting and shooting and whatnot if we don't get cracking. So do be a good sport and tell us the way, won't you? Well, now, uh, do we know Buttercup Corner? Where old farmer Mary Jew's cow slipped her car five years ago, come harvest festival. <laughs> Actually, I don't. He don't know much, do he? Oh, it's hopeless. No, no, don't be uneasy now. Trouble is, if I was you and wanted to get to leather them all, I'd be danged if I'd start from here at all. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Got in him! Here's someone coming on a bicycle. Let's hope he's got a bit more sense. I say, could you possibly tell us how we can get to jolly old Leatherham Hall? Ach, das ist Leatherham Hall. 100 yards down the road on the left. Thanks awfully. <laughs> hey, I say, those pyjamas are a bit loud, aren't they? Primrose? Yes, Gerald? My mother likes you. Does she? Mm. So does father. Better and better. I like you too. That makes it unanimous. Gerald, why didn't you tell me you were rich? Oh, it doesn't make any difference, does it? Oh, yes, it does. One more pay for this. Bring me down here for a cricket ball. Stupid English games. <laughs> What's going on down there? 
With the English, my dear Otto, that little game is almost as popular as cricket. Ah, that's better. Now, please to put out the lights, young peoples. Ah, now, which way can we get into the house? Well, there's bound to be more ways than one. <laughs> Oh, my ankle. Oh, we'll never get out of here now. Uh, no. Oh, there's a passage. What? Uh, a oh, passage. Yes. Get out of my way. Oh, oh Felix. Where oh, come on, Otto. Oh. Don't hang about there. Oh, Felix. <laughs> Felix. Felix, I've lost the girl. But... Uh, hey, what? Oh, shut, shut up. Hmm? Let's go back, Felix. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, God. Felix. Here's a door. Hmm? I wonder if it opens. That most extraordinary dream. I dreamt I saw two fellows come in here and go out through that door. <laughs> what extraordinary thing? I had the same dream. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, what, what a coincidence. <laughs> that was no coincidence. That was no dream. Oh, what are they doing here? I don't know. Whatever it is, they're up to no good. Come on, let's go after them. Oh, wait. They may be armed. Oh, yes. Better arm ourselves. What about these? Oh, good idea. My dear, I'm going as fast as I can. Hurry! Shh. Here's one of them coming now. Found it? What is happening? Better go and see what it is, dear. Probably burglars. Right. Nice work, old man. Now for the other one. Yes, but I'm afraid this is Brigadier Falcon. That's right. Brigadier Falcon! Oh, my goodness. Let me have a go. This must be one of them. funny. It's just struck one o'clock, now it's striking two o'clock. Double British summer time. Double British. Well, we've got one of them anyway. Yes, but I'm afraid this one is Sir Leslie. Sir Leslie? My goodness, what, what are we going to do now? Better get them back to bed. Yes, they won't know what's hit them. They'll think that they've been sleepwalking. <laughs> Well, my boy, thanks for your help. I feel a bit weak, but uh, better. You get back to bed, sir. Bright and I will continue the chase. Thanks. Some burglar fella hit me. My head's splitting. Here's your room, sir. Captain Early and I'll see if we can catch these fellows. You better go back to bed. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Ah, well, let's see if we can get the right ones this time. Yes. Yeah. Oh, how dare you? I'm most frightful. 
dreadfully sorry, madam. I beg your pardon, my good lady, but I'm not quite myself tonight. Stop, sir. Who stopped it? Uh, silly me down. Silly me down. Who stopped that one? Silly me down. Silly me down. Well, who's that one standing a few yards in front of the batter? Batsman, Primrose, please. All right. Who's the one standing in front of the batsman? Uh, silly point. Silly point. Well, if you ask me, the whole thing's just silly. Primrose, for heaven's sake, be careful. Somebody might hear you. <laughs> oh, shot, sir. Oh, shot! How many does it get for that? I haven't the faintest idea. I fell, man. Will you throw that ball back? Certainly, old bean. Stop! Hmm? What? That was the ball. <laughs> so I can see. No, our ball. <laughs> Don't, uh, back up. Back up. Don't make yourself conspicuous. No. We must get into the game somehow. I don't see how we can do that now. I know what we can do. We can keep undercover near the sight screen. Hmm? The sight screen? What is that? Come on, over there. Those two stupid intelligent officers, they honk me. What, are they here? Yes. They are such dumb cops that they are likely to unmask me by mistake. What is happening now? It's over. Already? This is a very dull game. This decadent Englanders patting a little ball to each other. <laughs> it is not so dull after all. That was a good shot. <laughs> Bravo! Hmm? Whatever it is, it's not cricket. Look, they're coming this way. Get, get in the front seat, Prim. Heaven's name, what do they think they're playing at? Cricket or speedway racing? We'd better get a car and catch those blokes. We have not one. 
Oh, yes, we have. Just a memento of a little job we did the other day. Purely routine, nothing in it really. <laughs> so I see. But what was in it? The Rostad diamond. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Your Highness, what can we do for you? I have lost Abdullah, my favorite elephant. <laughs> so I'm afraid that's a rather big job for us at the moment. You see, as a matter of fact, we're just off to a wedding. <laughs> yes, our, our secretary's wedding. You mean you won't find Abdullah for me? Oh, find him. Of of course we'll find him, but not today. Now, if you'll be good enough to give your particulars to our new secretary, we'll start work first thing in the morning. You'll find him a most intelligent type. Goodbye, Your Highness, and thank you very much indeed. I wish you to take down the particulars of my elephant. I have lost him. You say you've lost your elephant? That is so. Ah, I have it. Excuse me while I make a trunk call. Oh, I say I am. A foolish auto. Trust me. <laughs> 